In the latest news today, during the week Dr Disrespect updated his banner on Twitter, showing a ripped piece of paper of Doc's statement on a fishing hook, basically pointing out that he's baited everyone. Then earlier today, the Doc deleted his statement, confirming why he was banned on Twitch. Now late last night, the Doc then tweeted out in the following, Vacation is too good right now, we'll be back soon though champs, we have lots to talk about. Now it's still not clear where Dr Disrespect plans to stream when he comes back, especially with YouTube demonetizing his channel, giving him little reason to broadcast there so we could potentially stream on kick but what are your guys thoughts on this and the doc's return and here is some backlash response that doc received from his tweet and some looking forward to seeing the doc return they're calling you a kid liker on x doc that's what they're saying on the everything app yeah we know which island are taking a vacation on vacation is too good somebody protect them kids please you know what they say focus on the minor things and the rest will take care of itself hell yeah gamer you meet up with any super hot definitely of age chicks to cheat on your wife with during your time off we have lots to talk about a huge piece of the puzzle is clearly missing here which the Doc is clearly confident and willing enough to share with us all soon. Still rocking with you, Doc. I feel like there's a lot more to the story. And although I may not know you personally, I feel like you've only ever proven to be a good dude. God bless you and your family, brother. Hands down one of the best entertainers of our time. Hope you are well, Doc. Great to hear you're enjoying vacation, Doc. Looking forward to your return. Doc being so nonchalant is him knowing he's got the upper hand, about to come back and demolish everything people have said recently. Now, a Twitch partner kicked off on Twitter yesterday, calling out Dex News, reporting on the Doc, quoting in the following tweet, and he states in the following, This is typical, dishonest, lying via a Dexerto, and deep to disrespect. What Doc did in 2017 was wrong, but at least tell the truth. He couldn't tell anyone because Twitch had a legal gag order silencing him, which ex-Twitch broke recently, allowing him to speak, not because he was hiding info. More articles like this trash take away from good information Quinn Del Hoyo was trying to share regarding Midnight Society and Dead Drop. They literally start the article with disgraced streamer. It's like they just can't wait to spread their hate and toxicity. Where's the highlight that D-Drop will be in early access in November with a full slated release in fall of next year? What's worse is that it's equally gross to me that so many use the justification that because Doc was wrong in 2017, it's somehow okay to forego any sort of morality to justify dogpiling on the man, making claims despite any further evidence, supporting that Doc is also a predator or P3DO, so therefore it's fully justified that he and his family must deal with this forever, not to mention him losing his entire livelihood or previous accomplishments, as if that isn't enough. That's insane. Do you want to kill him too? Weirdos, man. Five full years have passed without so much of a shred of indecency. If there was any reason to believe as much, I'd be just as angry, but I'm sorry. I simply don't see it, and I refuse to join this witch hunt, burn him at the stake ideology and rhetoric. What he did was wrong in 2017, but behaving like that is also wrong. During the Fortnite stream, Ninja slips up bad. Alright, oh, that's such a good gun, bro. It's Gamer Girl Ammo! Never heard of this person before, but GG's, man. No one here to avenge me, bro. Ooh, good shotgun. Hey, yo, bro, I'm hey, unfazed. I'm gonna be there, uh, or Con, man. I don't know who I'm watching. Con, man, I'm gonna be there in three seconds, bro. Let me get that thunder shotty, bro. Let me give you that Gluck Gluck 9000 for it. Actually, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I don't know how old you are. I honestly, bro, my life is ruined, bro. Like, I wish I was just, like, a kid again so I could say whatever I want and not be held responsible. The actual ninja? Aw, oh, dude, it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all over, dude. GG, boys. All right, thank you guys for watching the stream, dude. I'd like to apologize to my family. I'd like to apologize to my stream, my audience, um, uh, my wife, uh, my dogs. Um. Ninja got the Diddy curse, but people will say, oh, it was a joke. But this is my point that if you're going to cancel people for what they say on stream, use the same damn energy joking or not. He just told a baby he'd suck his d in a video game. Let's see what the internet does now. He pulled a doctor disrespect, literally the life of a content creator. Everyone trying to cancel everyone. AMP moved into a 17 million New York City six story tower house for the summer, but it's not going well. Easy place gang. Chat, this house is worth 17 million. Ten thousand square feet, seventeen million. Crazy. It's the same price as uh, the one the penthouse got listed for. That seventeen million, no AC. Seventeen million, no AC. Plumbing issues. I was literally taking a shower earlier today, and it started leaking into raised floor. An elevator doesn't work, so we have to walk up the stairs, which isn't a big deal at any other apartment, but at a seventeen million dollar crib, those are things I. I need that! I need that! For 17, I need that. No it plumbing or working elevator means they definitely rushed to buy this place. Who on the AMP team bought this without the inspection? If you paid 17 mouths for a place in NYC and it wasn't located on Billionaire's Row, then there's your problem. So literally, they just got scammed because 17 milli for a crib with no AC and plumbing. It's just wild. Rookie mistake. You check these things upon moving in before signing the condition report.